So this is the Walker organ that you're looking at and hearing today. And this organ is now 26 years old. This used to be the patio way before we expanded into the organ room. And this organ came from Pennsylvania and there was a family that had two of these in their house. So this one that we have was the second organ that we were able to get. And I'm so grateful to my family that we were able to open this area up and put this organ in here. My family's always said, who would ever think we'd have such a nice organ in this area? And I've been able to play for many occasions for weddings and sad to say for funerals and other parties too, but it's been really nice to be able to open it up and expand it. And I get so many requests for so many of their all time favorites too. I just received an email from a very special person up in Canada and has asked me to kind of tell a little bit about the organ, which I'd be happy to do. This has been a lot of fun to do. The big box over here in the corner, if you will, is the box, that's the base, that is the big pedal area, which talks about all the different sounds that you will be hearing too. All these other speakers over here, there are some over here by the base in the corner by the window, are for all the different instruments, which are all throughout the rest of the house. So that big box that my nephew is going at right now is the one for the pedals, and then all the rest of the speakers are the surround sound that you can hear, such as the train whistle, the train bell, the acne siren. Now this, these two are together, the wind and the wind chime. Your cuckoo, your horses, your blitzer. This is a Bronx cheer, which I never use. And a vibrant slap, your bubble, your bolt horn, your auto horn, and your boat whistle. Plus, even though these are all in the system, I can do by a certain arrangement of different stops as well. Let me give you just a few demos. So, if I were to do how much is the doggy in the window, which is already on there, to get the sound of a dog bark, I use two red buttons, which we call the reeds. And to get the sound of a dog bark, Let's find out. Let's see. Okay. You would use the reed and the canary. So let's find out. Here we go. Let me take this up. So you can hear it. So how I get the dog bark is I put my hand in a cupping position like this. Use all five fingers, go down to the very end and cut my hand and do this. That is your dog bark on how you get it for how much is the doggy in the window. It's really a lot of fun because if I were to play the song Elvira from the Oak Ridge Boys, I would have most of the reeds on and then I'd turn and add the horse stop if I could, if I had room. And then I'd go into Elvira, so down here. <laughs> And I get everything, I get all systems going, so I go. And there's your bass right down here. And if you ever heard Elvira and heard the singers do it, Richard, who has a really good bass voice, do his, does his part. It's way down here. So let's see if I can do it. Here we go. Get this off. So remember how he sings that and goes way down? That's his voice right there. And the, you can get certain stops on this, like you can get the sound of a Prisiglot, which is for Small World. And then I can add these two together. So it goes middle and bottom and top. So as you get merry-go-round, so let's see if we can do this. Okay. And if you 
you'll notice if I do that, all the speakers are open and you get different sounds all over. Let me give another little demo of Small World on this. Here we go. Actually, Small World was the very first tune that I did with my second organ teacher, and that's how we actually hit it off. So tell, uh, show me the presets, like uh, the you were presets, showing me before, like how you can reset everything. Right. So down here, if I were to do the song Amazing Grace, and here's the top thing I use. The top keyboard, if you listen to that, sounds like a bagpipe is being played. And with certain stops that you have on this, you can get a lot of different stops. You can get like the trumpets for Bell Human Republic, so if I was to do that. And there's so many different stops you can use. You can use like your harp down here with say a flute on there. Let's, let's see, there's Amazing Grace and your harp and bell. So a small world be good in there. And down here, if you were using the stops, you could also add a boat whistle and do like faraway places down here. And then to do your train, if you wanted to do I've been working on the railroad, you could add these two together. And then do the reeds and do I've been working on the railroad. It brings the contrast out, makes it really more special for the listener. So where's the, the cancel button that puts everything back the into place? The cancel button is right over here on the far right. And if you wanted to, and you wanted, if you liked a, a stop setting really well, you could go over here, say you wanted to use number one, you know, one, and then you hit the set button. So you could go right there and then hit the first one. And so right, that's it. Again. Yeah. So how many presets do you have? Just one for the uh, Amazing Grace? We have, um, oh, let's see. We've got Amazing Grace, so that's on one. And then we can use the chime and the voicing right here on, on the top. Mm -hmm. So let's see. So if you were doing like Climber Mountain, take this off. And then add more voicing. And then go. is a good contrast to use. So if you want to change the stops right in the middle, which we do, we can go over here, hit the trims, and all the trims on this section will go in the upright position until used again. So here it is again. Now, here's, here comes the voicing right now. temporarily off. Mountain, I held my thumb 
and went up to the top to do more notes and then come back and end. It's just been amazing to do this because we've had so many different requests for different songs. And um, I just simply love it. Battle of the Human Republic is on a certain stop setting too. But it's really great because you get all around the sound, you can hear different things, you can put in requests for different stops. Um, Sunrise Sunset has a really nice arrangement to it. I'm gonna see if I can cut through. I need to change it up. There we go. There we go, I got it, got it. Okay, got it. So you're saying Sunrise Sunset? Mm -hmm, yeah. So tell me about Sunrise Sunset. Sunrise Sunset is from Fiddler on the Roof. And they do this song as a wedding tune also for one of the daughters who gets married. And this is a beautiful arrangement. I'll play this through once for you so you can hear it and hear the contrast. Okay, here's sunrise and set again. Here we go. 